Hey everyone. What's up guys, Unofficial MCU here. Hope you're all doing well and Marvel Rivals game has officially been announced and revealed. We're going to be discussing a number of its details in today's video right now. Before we do though, however, go ahead and grab the subscribe button if you haven't already, as we're discussing and covering all types of Marvel-related news, leaks, rumors, theories, and breakdowns here on the channel. So if you guys are into any of that, go ahead and grab that subscribe button today. Okay, so in this video, we are going to be taking a quick read from the Direct's article. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. Players are wondering what consoles and platforms Marvel Rivals will launch on a little bit later this year. Marvel Games and NetEase Games recently announced the comic book superhero answer to Overwatch with Marvel Rivals. The multiplayer experience will allow players to utilize iconic heroes and villains in 6v6 combat with a variety of powers and skills to harness. The official announcement of Marvel Rivals from developer NetEase Games stated that the game will launch with the closed alpha in May of this year on PC. The game will be available as a free-to-play experience across Steam and the Epic Games Store as well. As such, it appears that the initial focus for Marvel Rivals will be on the PC release actually, but is it going to be coming to consoles and elsewhere as well is the question that remains. While NetEase Games has yet to confirm a console launch for Marvel Rivals on PS5 and Xbox Series, let me know in the comments down below which one you guys play on, I'm a PlayStation fan, it would be surprising if it didn't make its way there eventually due to the massive player bases on both of those platforms, let alone a Marvel game, that being said. After some fans had questioned no, con no console releases in response to the trailer, the official Marvel Rivals account had reaffirmed the closed alpha test will be available for PC, but had called for fans to stay tuned for more future updates. This seems to indicate that the initial closed alpha testing for Marvel Rivals will be exclusive to PC players, while also teasing plans to bring this Overwatch-esque experience to consoles down the line in the full beta and launch. As such, it's unlikely, unfortunately, that console players will be enjoying Marvel Rivals as soon as May, but perhaps they would and could be further into the summer or later this year. As the game developer NetEase Games does appear at the very least open to releasing Marvel Rivals upon consoles, the next question is what platforms will it likely make its way to? Well, as neither NetEase Games or Marvel Games or Marvel Studios has any exclusivity deals with Sony or Microsoft, or PS5 or Xbox, branching across all of their different titles, the current gen consoles of PS5 and Xbox series are really quite safe bets. As the game doesn't appear to boast any especially advanced graphics or an initiative technology like the newer consoles, it may even be able to run and get releases for PS4 and Xbox One. However, even if the last-gen consoles are graphically capable of running Marvel Rivals, the developer may opt to omit them with their successors, now almost four years old. It wouldn't even be shocking to see Marvel Rivals one day make its way to the Nintendo Switch as the multiplayer icon is in its intimidating Overwatch can be found on the home and portable hybrid consoles as well. Anyway guys, this year all being said, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys are all thinking. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been an official MCU. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. Peace out.